The U.S. Air Force USAF, boasts an impressive fleet, yet concerns are growing that much of its aging equipment may not be effective in modern conflicts, particularly against China. While the U.S. leads in global defense spending, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall has argued that the Air Force must urgently modernize by retiring outdated aircraft and investing in advanced systems, such as electronic warfare, cyber capabilities, and stealth technology. The shift is critical to countering increasingly sophisticated air defense, systems, and fifth-generation fighters. However, the challenge lies in balancing modernization efforts with budget constraints and political resistance to retiring legacy platforms. Despite the USAF's impressive array of aircraft, concerns are mounting that the fleet is becoming outdated, too old to effectively participate in a modern conflict, particularly one involving China. Does the USAF need to upgrade, or are calls for modernization merely hawkish alarmism? How much spending for the U.S. military? The simple fact is that the U.S. spends more on defense than any other nation on Earth. In fact, it's not even close, the U.S. defense budget has ballooned to $900 billion per year, threatening to eclipse the $1 trillion threshold. Given the vastness of the existing fleet and the high costs of modernization, the idea that the USAF might need to substantially upgrade its fleet raises concerns for those mindful of U.S. military spending and the federal deficit. Meanwhile, the only country that even comes close to matching U.S. defense spending, China, spends less than $300 billion per year on defense, about a third of the U.S. total. This means the U.S. spends roughly three times more than its closest competitor. Russia, long the primary bogeyman of U.S. foreign policy, spends less than one-tenth of the U.S. defense budget, despite ranking third in global defense spending. The United Kingdom, Germany, and France rank sixth, seventh, and eighth in global defense spending, respectively, spend less than $200 billion combined each year. The point is that the notion that America's substantial defense spending may still fall short in keeping pace with the modern threat environment is disheartening. Time to modernize the U.S. Air Force? Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall insists the service needs to modernize rapidly to face the growing threat from China, reported Chris Gordon. However, Kendall and other service leaders argue that modernization isn't just about fielding new aircraft, the Air Force must also retire its aging planes. The truth is the Air Force needs capabilities like electronic warfare battle management, intelligence, and cyber capabilities, Kendall said last year. It doesn't just need airplanes. He elaborated that as the character of warfare changes, systems like electronic warfare and battle management will become increasingly vital, likely competing with traditional platforms. We're having to divest some of these traditional platforms to free up resources to move forward, Kendall explained, noting that there has been resistance to this approach in the past. Kendall is particularly concerned about the increasing sophistication of air defense systems, which render legacy fighters like the F-15 and F-16 comprising the bulk of the USAF fighter fleet inadequate for operating against these advanced threats. Most of the US fleet requires air superiority to operate successfully. Without it, modern radar, surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, and advanced air superiority fighters could easily target the U.S.'s fourth-generation fighters and their support aircraft.